welcome to the Keyfox introductory video. Keyfox adds free, secure and easy to use password management features to Firefox, which save you time and keep your private data safe and under your own control. I'm going to briefly walk through the setup and first minutes of using the add-on. Let's click on the download Keyfox button. You'll find yourself on a Firefox add-on page, which might be familiar if you've installed other Firefox add-ons in the past. You can read a description of the add-on and read reviews from other users. If you're comfortable with technology, you might want to install the development version of the add-on, which will often contain new features and bug fixes before they are put into the main add-on. But today we'll install the standard add-on and click through the usual Firefox add-on installation process until we get to the Keyfox Setup tab. The exact information you'll see here might be different for your machine, but for most people Keyfox will install the KeyPass password safe application onto your computer and then create a link between KeyPass and Firefox. Firefox and KeyPass exchange some secret codes to ensure that communication between them can't be intercepted. So you just need to confirm that you want that to happen. Assuming you've not already got a KeyPass database containing your passwords, you'll need to set up a new database. Just choose somewhere to store the database, type a secure password twice, give your database a name, and then click save to store the encrypted database onto your computer. You're all set up now, but you should take the time to run through the getting started tutorial so that you can hit the ground running. I'll briefly run through the tutorial now so that you can see Keyfox in action, but do take as much time as you need to understand each step, paying particular attention to the tips and instructions in coloured boxes on each page. You can see that Keyfox has already filled in the username and password for this website using some entries that your new database was automatically populated with. If you're using an existing KeyPass database, or have any other problems at this stage, there is a list of useful troubleshooting tips at the bottom of the page. You'll need to put your own passwords into KeyFox before it starts to become useful. You can try it out on this page. Just type the username and password listed on this page and choose your favourite pet from the exotic list available. KeyFox has displayed a notification bar at the top of the browser window. There are various advanced options available here, but let's keep it simple and just click save. Let's switch to KeyPass now and see the password we've just saved. You can see that for each entry in KeyPass there is a KeyFox tab, allowing you to configure this entry to your specific needs. There's a little bit of text to read on this tutorial page, but when you're done press continue and you'll be on the home straight. As you can see from the title, that's the getting started tutorial all finished. There are a couple of extra advanced tutorial pages which you should go through if you want to get the most out of Keyfox, and some useful links at the top of the page. Whether you prefer to receive news via email or through an RSS news reader, both options are there to help keep you informed about changes to Keyfox. If you need any help, please start at the Help Centre on the official site. There's a shortcut in the main Keyfox menu.